Um, how about where do you think you'd like to go with your circles, Lauren? Um, I I like where we are right now, and I love um, that when I invite other classes to join us, uh, the way that other teachers are able to see how easy it is to um, take an idea as simple as a circle, but to give kids like a sense of ownership and belonging in within that community. Um, I would really like to be able to share this pedagogy more with other teachers. Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel really proud of the work that we're both doing and that we're doing in, in this school in our district and I really am excited for the circle to get <laughs> <Perfect>. bigger. <laughs> How about you, Megan? Um, that's a great question. Where are we going with circle? Um, we started using a few years back like um, a paper circle uh, template to kind of look at student needs. So with the physical, emotional, um, uh, mental and then it not, we don't use spiritual we use interconnected mm -hmm. and looking at um, particularly um, indigenous kids and where are their needs so do they need some more academic support do they need more social emotional and so we've been sharing those with teachers and then they sort of plot their kids on those circles so it's kind of like an RTI triangle but in the four quarters so um, and then you can see when kids land in the middle in all four quadrants um, that shows a greater need um, in our in the model that we created um, so using that more I was a little tentative at first but um, working with Marsha our indigenous support worker this year um, that collab collaborative approach and just realizing the more we use things and the more we create them as part of our cultural community um, the more familiar we are with them and they do become more useful. So there is a growing, like a, a period of growth um, where you might think, oh, maybe this isn't working, but to kind of work through that. So Lit Circles this year, I was like, oh, is this gonna work? And then it did. So next year, I just hope to have a bit more confidence in using circles in not whole group, which is really useful classroom management wise and just communication wise but saying, okay, look, let's do this on paper. Let's do this um, in small groups. And then even in staff meetings, I would love to see um, more. We had our initial circle this year and I think it was really powerful and community building and just to kind of push the envelope a little bit on, on how we do things. I love that. I loved that staff meeting too. I thought it was a really like great kickoff to the year. How we were all, it was intimate. Because it is like it, it, it's so important, I think, to share and to understand the person as a whole. And I'm thinking of our students and uh, and of ourselves as teachers. But um, yeah, I was just reflecting on what you were saying about um, using the circle to, to to see, notice, recognize, and know that child. And I think like sometimes we forget about that. <laughs> and I think that it is so so important. So having, I mean, a visual for the teacher to understand and recognize that that student isn't just a learning standard mm -hmm. that needs to be met and that there is a whole child. So I love that. Mm -hmm.